even if you're a Jain vegetarian, you can get sufficient protein in your daily diet. We need about 0.8 grams to a gram per kilo of your body weight. So if you weigh 50 kilos, you need about 50 grams of protein, which even a vegetarian diet can give you. Now, it also depends on your goal. You know, like, like he has a great body. He's working out. I can make out he's lifting weights. Now, I don't know what his goal is. If his goal is to become bigger and buff, his protein intake is obviously going to increase. You know, so if you're going to become like a bodybuilder, your protein requirement can go to 1.5 to 2 to even 0.5 grams per kilo of your body weight. So it's really dependent on your goal. If you're an athlete, your protein requirement is going to change. If we're just normal teenagers living a normal life, working out, studying and living our life, 0.8 grams to a kilo is more than sufficient. So we don't have to take supplements, but sometimes if I'm a vegetarian and I, my protein requirement is maybe two grams per kilo of my body, I'm not going to be sitting whole day and just eating food. I may use a protein supplement. One scoop can give me 30 grams. So it makes life easier. But then you want to select the right quality of protein and consume it the right way. A lot of people start consuming protein shakes, but they cut down on wholesome food. So they'll use a protein shake as a meal replacement. Now that's bad. You shouldn't use a protein shake as a meal replacement. It is great to add after your workout or some point of the day if you're trying to meet your protein requirement, but never let it replace an entire meal. So that's how we look at protein. So you would definitely like, you know, still have us eat our, you know, rice and lentils, dal shawl, as you might call it, and, you know, our natural sources of protein, and then maybe add the hemp protein or the pea protein on top if required. Yes. Absolutely. You know, we have, we have an Olympic, uh, we have an athlete in our country. Her name is Kema Das. She's the first woman who won a 400 meter race. Okay. When you look at her diet that she shared, she has dal and rice every single day of her life. No protein, shake, no supplements until she won the first race. So you see all of us think when you look at some of the farmers, you look at their body, they're ripped. The women don't have an ounce of weight on their body. What do they eat? Their diets are carb heavy. They're eating lentils. They're eating joa rotis. They're eating rice. They're eating all of these things together, but they're active. They're active. So you know, the media has made us believe that we need more supplements and proteins and all of that stuff. But reality proves that there are great bodies out there that build great bodies without even the consumption of a protein shake. So we should never get distorted with social media and advertising and marketing and all of that stuff because we have cases in reality that have the fittest bodies and performance level athletes who have never taken a protein shake in their life. So that's a good example to learn from. 